Reviewing this, this beauty of a product. Um, it looks just awesome. Like the colors are so pretty and the little glitters in the glosses are so pretty. But these are the Lizzie McGuire lip glosses. Um, the seriously cool duo. They have like another one. I forget what it's called, but they have a whole collection. It's an eyeshadow palette, the two sets of duos. Um, I think these little like glitter things for more like fancy sparkly makeup. And I forget what else. I don't think that's it, but I don't know. Um, you can just go check it out on the ColourPop website. The packaging is so adorable. Um, it's just so cute. Like, it's so, um, what was I going to say? Well, it's obviously early 2000s because that's what Lizzie McGuire is. Like, it came out in the early 2000s. So, it is definitely, like, giving off that vibe with the packaging. I love how they incorporated Lizzie onto the package because if they didn't, it would be like, wait, if this is a Lizzie McGuire collection, she should be on everything. And she is, and I'm glad that she is making an appearance on every product. Um, as well as the actual product itself and not just the packaging. So that's an extra, you know, like a bonus thing, I guess, is that she's not only on the packaging, but she's also on the product. These colors are just so pretty. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna open it up now. Oh my god. Literally, they did so good with packaging. Like, I'm surprised. I've never bought anything from ColourPop before, so this is also my first impression for ColourPop. And honestly, it's, like, really good. Like, I've seen their website because I had to to buy this. And, like, their stuff looks good. So this is just a little close-up of what they look like. Super, super pretty. You could see the glitter, I think. I'm gonna actually show you guys like under the light maybe you could see it better i'm not sure but um it is super pretty and super noticeable in person so yeah okay so not only am i going to try these out but i'm going to do a makeup look based off of whichever one i like more it just depends on which one I like better. I'm sure I'm gonna like both of them equally, but I'm gonna just pick one and then base like my eyeshadow off of that and everything like that. So the first one I'm gonna try out, hmm. I'm gonna try out this one first, Ethan Craft. Now as a kid and like now and stuff, I don't watch Lizzie McGuire, so I'm not like a true fan, but um, I'm like, I'm sure I've watched a couple of episodes if they were on TV, like, reruns and stuff, but, like, I've never actually, like, wanted to watch it because it just really wasn't, like, um, a popular show when I was growing up. Like, I guess it was still popular, but, like, it wasn't as popular as it was before I was, like, a toddler and a kid, um, like, a younger kid, but, um, that's okay, though. I still like her. She's a queen, you know? Um, like I've said, I've seen, like, a couple of episodes, like, I do remember what the show looks like and stuff, um, and, like, some of the characters, but, um, that was years ago, so I'm, like, you know, not good with that knowledge of Lizzie McGuire. So, I don't know these characters, and I know that they're popular because I've, I've definitely heard, um, Gordo before, but I don't think I've heard of Ethan Craft. So I'm sorry, okay? I'm not a loyal, true fan of Lizzie McGuire, but um, it's still pretty iconic because it just is, you know? Ooh. It's an interesting... Hold on, let me finish putting it on. It's an interesting texture. Like, it's very thick, but like... It's not like annoying though. It's not the type of lip gloss that's like too chunky where I would be like, ew, I don't want this on my lips, like sitting on my lips all day. But like, I can actually tolerate it. Like, it's not bad. And um, lip gloss in the early 2000s was very popular, especially ones with a lot of glitter, like chunky, like very noticeable glitter and very thick formulas. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about it is that you can't really see like a tint of pink on your lips. It's just like clear 
it might have like a tiny bit of color but the tiniest bit um it's really not noticeable um like that much to where you could see like this bright pink color on your lips so yeah um also the glitter doesn't show up that well on your lips but it shows up better in the tube itself um which like is fine like i'm not saying it has to be all glitter but it should have some on um your lips when you apply it and it really doesn't it just is kind of like a shiny sheer look but it doesn't show the actual glitter okay so next is gordo which is the purple one which honestly looks a little bit more appealing to me that's why i saved it for the second one for some reason like the second one to try <clears throat> but this one is still very pretty i like the color but i've always loved purple i don't know why i've just always had a thing for purple it's always been my favorite color ever since i was a little kid so that is why i like this better okay so i definitely like this one more um again the color like you can't see purple on your lips maybe just the tiniest tiniest tint of it but um the glitter actually shows up in person like you can actually see some glitter maybe it was just that application maybe just that one time where i just didn't get the glitter onto my lips um because they are the same like they have the same formula they're just different colors so i'm sure that that's the case but again it's just like a shiny sheer look it's not super noticeable but that's fine i'm not complaining about that i'm just putting it out there so since it is clear like it's not you know extremely purple or extremely pink for the other one um i'm just gonna keep this one on and i like this one a little bit better anyways just because it's purple um even though it's not like super noticeable it's still purple in the tube and i just like it better so um we are going to do a more purpley look we might still incorporate pink though because pink is a very um how would you like what would you say very important color um when it comes to lizzie mcguire um these are very important colors both of these so i'll incorporate both just because why not what the heck was that okay so i have this huge little kit thing well not little it's a big kit from ulta and i'm just gonna use some purples and pinks from here i don't even know if i have any clean brushes but we'll see this pink um i don't know the shade names because i think i threw the clear thing out um but that's okay <laughs> These shadows are actually really nice like I don't use them that often but they're still really pretty and I'm like kind of just realizing that okay so now I'm going to use this purple right here and the one next to it which is a lighter one <laughs> I'm going to use this sparkly purple, which is super pretty. So that's how it turned out. Very, very pretty. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the other eye and then I'll come back on the camera. Okay, so I didn't intend to do this, but then I did at the last second. Um, they're kind of two different colors, like this one is more pink and that one is more purple, excuse my voice. Um, but that's fine because it doesn't even look bad. They like look the same, but they also look different at the same time if you really look closely. Um, but I don't really care, it doesn't matter to me, it's still cute. Um, I love pink and purple together, it's just really cute. Um, it's actually on my shirt right now, so that kind of explains it. Um, I don't know what else I want to do. I think maybe just blush and maybe powder before that, but that's it. Okay, so I just did powder and blush, and that is basically it. So overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I'm giving it a 7 because I feel like the color should be 
um, noticeable on your lips and it doesn't have to be super vibrant. It should just be like these colors or like a dyed down version, you know, like a dimmer version, a lighter version of these colors. I think that would have been a little bit prettier instead of just clear with like a tiny, tiny tint of the color if it even has a tint or maybe I'm just like thinking that there is. Um, because honestly, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, and also, it should be like a little more glittery when it applies to your lips. But other than that, it's very, very cute. I love the whole collection. Um, it, all the colors in the eyeshadow palette looks really cute. So that's good. Um, the whole collection is just really cute. It's a cute idea. It's fun. It's simple. Um, and it's aesthetic, <laughs> I guess. Um... It's like a 2000s aesthetic, which is fine. I'm not bashing that. That's cute, you know? Um, so if you want to, and if you can, go get this collection or this or the other duo or the eyeshadow palette or whatever you want. Um, because I think it's worth it. It's cute. It's not too expensive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and peace out.